Few enterprises are so essential to the consumer as animatronics. Animatronics companies take a lifetime of dedication, voluntary poverty, and social frustration. Animatronics from simple automatons to songbirds, beloved politicians, and pirates, or pirates and politicians, or monkeys and living cars, too. The career of the animatronics builder begins first as a youth with vegetable puppets, haunted houses, and mythic American figures. <coughs> uh, perhaps we should let the experts handle this. Garner's one of those lucky people. He knew from an early age exactly what he wanted to do, and he did it. By age six, he'd already hit it off with the tour guides at Disneyland and created his first animated show. By nine, Garner found out about the Haunted Mansion. This led to a trip to Disneyland. On the ride home, he told his parents that he wanted to build the things he saw at the park, and he wanted to do it for the rest of his life. So, I was that. No more veterinary school for Garner. He was squarely focused on animatronics. His backyard became an amateur Disneyland, including a haunted house for Halloween. Next Halloween was bigger and better inside San Bernardino's Central City Mall. In a copy of National Geographic, Garner read about a robotic Abraham Lincoln, the first of Disney's highly complex audio animatronic figures. The designer of that thing was no slouch either. Garner was sure he could build a human figure too. In 1976, an animated Uncle Sam made an appropriate subject and premiered at a local mall in time for the bicentennial. It was a pretty good first try for a snotty 15-year-old kid. Garner sent a tape of Uncle Sam's performance to Wet Enterprises, today's Imagineering, where it caught the attention of one of my colleagues, Waithel Rogers. He was so impressed that he went out to meet Garner at his garage workshop. The young designer opted to test out of high school a year early and founded Garner Holt Productions in July of 1977. He was just 16. For the next decade, Garner was the sole full-time employee of his company, creating things for trade shows, more haunted houses for malls, even a line of novelty severed hands. He needed a way to break into the majors and came up with Wendell, the world's first unicycle riding animatronic figure. Wendell opened a door to GHP's building all the animatronics for a major attraction at a new theme park in Las Vegas. Garner hired most of his friends and half his family to come help out. In six months, GHP built more than 40 animatronic humans, animals, props, and special effects. Work began to pour in from all over the place. More things for Vegas, projects at small parks, malls, restaurants, when finally Garner's little business got a big break with an order for hundreds of a new Chuck E. Cheese animatronic figure, almost 500 in all. At last, the company Garner founded in his parents' garage was on solid ground as a business. In 2001, GHP created an animated Jack Skellington for Disneyland's Haunted Mansion Holiday Overlay. The figure proved Garner could build animatronics that matched Disney quality and innovation. Now, the company Garner founded, based largely on his love for Disney's animatronics, is the largest vendor for its figures about 500 individual figures in every Disney resort worldwide. 36 years after its founding, GHP is the largest organization of its type in the world. Almost 5,000 animatronics in 31 countries on six continents. Garner's passion is as strong as ever. His life stories is the company's. They are inseparably linked. His business has taken him around the world, collaborating with many exceptional people. You know, this seems like an appropriate place to do a little story about Garner Holt because uh, he always uh, was such a great admirer of Disney and Disney animation. And of course, uh, always wanted to be part of the animation team. When that didn't happen, he did something even better and that is he created his own company. You think about that, someone that young, as young as Garner was at the time, uh, striding out on his own and creating something that's turned out to be the premier house of creating uh, animated figures and other special effects, uh, et cetera, for projects all around the world. You've got to say, this is a great entrepreneur and uh, we all admire you for it.
We're fortunate that we get to work in an industry where our guests have such passion for the product and experiences we deliver. With that comes with an obligation that the partners we choose to work with have equal or greater passion. That is certainly true of Garner Holt, and it's true of his team. We've been very fortunate to work with them at Knott's and look forward to working with them for many years to come. Garner, congratulations. When Lethal Rogers and myself went up to see Garner Holt, both Waythel and I said at the time, this young man is going to go a long ways in the animation field. Congratulations. Hello, Thea Awards. On this special night, I want to wish Garner Holt a huge congratulations for winning the Buzz Price Thea Award for a lifetime of outstanding achievements. Garner, your story is an inspiration and your workshop is fantastic. And everything you create there is, is a work of art, especially what you did for the Radiator Springs Racers. You really brought our characters to life. And I want to thank you for that. Congratulations, Garner, on this fantastic night. Hi, Garner. Congratulations on receiving TEA's Lifetime Achievement Award. 35 years in the business of creating smiles and memories is well deserving of this prestigious award. You and your company have made a substantial impact to themed entertainment all around the world. Congratulations again and all the best. One time I had a call from Waithel Rogers about a young man that he said he had uh, done some uh, mechanical work and built a, uh, in fact he built a head. And he asked him to come up to the, uh, to uh, at that time it was Wet Enterprises in Maple and all our guys were pretty impressed with what, with what he was able to do. But for some reason I don't know why we never hired him but uh, he certainly didn't need our help because he certainly became very successful in what he did. In fact he's done a lot of work for us over the years and I'm sure he'll continue to do so. So again, congratulations, Carter. I can't think of anybody that's built a more amazing legacy than you have with your company. You have fun doing it too. I think that's why you're so good at it. I don't know anybody that's more passionate about what you do and the creatures and the magic that you create uh, can be found all over the world. We love working with you. Can't wait to do it again. Congratulations. Uh, Garner, congratulations on this acknowledgement of this award. Uh, quite a great acknowledgement of uh, a, a long career of successes and really the passion for doing great things that you have. And it's great to see this award in this case to, as an acknowledgement of, of the success over your career. So congratulations and here's the working together on many more successes in the future. Congratulations Garner for finding the way to blur the line between work and play.